Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another episode of Spill the D. I'm Gina. I'm one of your hosts, and I'm joined here, as always, with my co-host, Rick. Are you excited for this episode, Hanson? I am excited. I, I think it's kind of difficult for people to understand sometimes what the best times of year for them to go are. Yes. So we did the research, so you don't have to. We have broken it down month by month what you can expect to find at Walt Disney World to help you pick when the best time for your vacation is. Everything from weather to ticket prices to holidays that are going on during that month. We got it all. We're going to go over it for every single month. And it's a lot of good information. It'll help you plan when you want to go on your trip. Oh, that's... I don't know where I I had thought I had something else. Yeah, actually. that didn't sound like the end of a sentence. <laughs> I thought I okay. Had something else and then everything in my brain just left. Just completely left. Okay, yeah, yeah. that really sounded like the end of a sentence. It's gonna right. help you plan your trip. That's there. true. That sounded like an, an ending to a sentence. Yeah, no, that was perfect. First try. But before we get into that, we do have two pieces of news to go over with everybody. So two let's go. Awesome pieces of news. Go ahead, you go right into it then. Okay, we got a new nap chair in um, Carousel of Progress, so that's pretty exciting. They just redid the upholstery and the seats in, in the Carousel of Progress. So, go nap people. I love what you consider newsworthy. I'm always like, don't worry guys, we're only going to tell you things that are fully going to affect your Disney this vacation. This will affect people's Disney vacation. If you need a nap, go on the Carousel of Progress. They got brand new seats, and it's about 20 minutes of... The most soothing voice talking to you. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Like I feel like his voice in the ride is just like very soothing, and it's like easy to fall asleep while you're listening. Okay, whatever works. It's also after running on little sleep multiple miles a day in Florida heat, so that works too. Yeah, that'll knock you out right when you get to the air conditioning in a comfy chair. But there's new seats, so go check them out. So score. That's hilarious. Okay, what else do we have? It's spooky season in Disney. The only thing that really matters. It is spooky season. It has officially begun. Yeah, that means I can start watching Halloween movies. Do you know why it's officially begun? No. Because as of tomorrow, if we're talking like the day this episode airs, the first Halloween party is happening. See, that's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. Because it's... The beginning of August. If you just picked a random episode and that's how you ended up here, or maybe you found us because of specifically the theme of the episode, um, we're recording in August right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Now Halloween starts in August at Walt Disney World. Yeah, I'm a big Halloween person and I, I love getting started early, but early to me is September, not August. <laughs> I really wish that Halloween was in September. Why is that? Because this is my Disney adult logic, Okay. I think Disney does holidays very well, mm-hmm. and Halloween gets August, September, and October because it's not until October 31st, Yeah, which means Christmas only gets November and December, and I would rather have more time at Christmas, so if Halloween was September, not only would I then get October, November, and December, but they could still do July, August, September for the Halloween bill, so it's not taking anything away from Halloween people, but it's giving more... In addition to what we already get for the Christmas people. I think they should just start Halloween in September and then they both get two months. I mean, that is fair. But then they would be missing out on the amount of money that they get from the Halloween yeah. parties. So Yeah. Not which, as much in August, though, which we'll, we'll talk about. Yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> <laughs> that all you got for news? But yeah, spooky season. It's spooky season. I'm excited. Season. It's here. Ready to go. Surprised you're not wearing your Donald Halloween shirt. I was going to. And then I, I, I realized I haven't worn this one in a while. My, yeah. My Panthers Mickey one, so. If you're not watching on the YouTube, you're missing out on the Panthers Mickey one. <laughs> Man from the Philly area, the Panthers fan. Are you right? No, I'm wearing a Mickey hat. Oh, that was a Flyers hat with a Panthers shirt. No. Really confusing I've done everybody. That and I just gotta keep everyone guessing. Yeah, exactly. Keep them wanting more. Yeah. But never let them know your next move. <laughs> okay, so we are getting into this now. I am so excited. We are gonna talk, like I said, about the best month. For you to go to Walt Disney World. We're going to give you pros and cons of each month. Things that we've noticed from going in those months. Things that we know other people have noticed. 
different recommendations that we've picked up along the way mm-hmm. to help you decide what you think is best for you. In addition to our help, you can also reach out to our friends at 407 and Beyond Vacation Co. Or maybe after this episode when you've decided when you want to go. And they will help you plan the perfect vacation. They are a Disney and Universal Orlando travel agency that books and plans family vacations to destinations such as Walt Disney World, Universal Orlando, Disney Cruise Line, so much more. It doesn't cost any extra to book with them. Their services are 100% free. Their travel agents do everything, so all you have to do is show up and have fun. You can get a free no obligation quote for their services at 407vacations.com. Maybe if you want to go to the Halloween party in August. Maybe. <laughs> I said for their services, for their vacation, for, their for your services. vacation that their services are free for. It yes. makes sense. I understood what you were saying. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right. Month one, you ready? Yeah, let's talk about it. Okay. So we got January. First month of the year. Makes sense. Probably should not start in January, but we're going to go for it. What would we start in? February, only because January starts with one of the most crowded days of the year, and it kind of throws off the whole vibe of how January actually is at Walt Disney World. So January 1st, New Year's Day, is going to be a pretty crowded day. That one, it's still going to be pretty popping. Honestly, from the 1st for whatever that week is after, you're still going to have some crowds. Some schools don't go back into session for a few days after. Yeah. Schools around us started on January 2nd, but some of them do give it a few days. And additionally, Walt Disney World does their marathon weekend. That is historically the first weekend in January, unless the first weekend is January 1st. For instance, it's the 7th to the 12th for 2025. So it's going to be like that first chunk of weekend that you have. So with that, after that weekend, once Marathon Weekend's over, that's when the crowds are really going to start to die down and the prices are going down, too. It's, it's not going to be crazy expensive. The crowds aren't going to be too bad, and the temperature is gorgeous. It's an yes. average high of 72 and a low of 51. Unless you're a Floridian. Then it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're from the north, this is a beautiful temperature to be going uh, yeah. to explore Walt Disney World with. Yeah. It does get cold at night. But it's like a nice cold. But it's a nice cold. There yeah. there was that one night where we had to buy sweatshirts. That was November. We'll get there. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. We'll get there. But that was November. I can't remember if that, when that was. <laughs> yeah. The prices are kind of in the middle as far as Walt Disney World prices mm-hmm. go. They're not the lowest that they're going to be, but they're not the highest that they're going to be. So that's always good to see. Now, here's something that if you're like, I'm going in January. This is when I'm going. Something to keep in mind. The beginning of January. This is a great time to go if you want to get some Disney Christmas without the Disney Christmas crowds. Mm -hmm. Christmas stuff is still set up in the parks. There's still Christmas music playing. Usually until about January 10th to 12th, you'll still find Christmas in the parks. This is not the time to go if you are so done with Christmas. If you're the type of person that December 26th, you take everything down, I don't recommend going that first week and a half. All right. So the other thing to keep in mind with January is and the other months as well is a lot of times what people will do is if there's a holiday on a monday or a friday people will take a long weekend and they'll go so for example in january we have mlk day which is the third monday of the month so it might be a little bit more crowded on this weekend because everybody can get a three-day weekend out of this mm-hmm. also notable the festival of the arts is happening starting in January. It starts January 12th and it runs until February 19th. So this is a little bit of both months, but whenever the festivals are going on, Epcot is going to be a little more crowded. But festivals can definitely be worth planning your trip around. Mm -hmm. If it's something that you would be interested in, if you're really into art festival, the art could be worth waiting an extra week or going Mm -hmm. a week earlier for your trip. The January 12th and February 19th, that was 2024. The dates dates do fluctuate and change every year, but that was just to give you an idea of, what it was for 2024. Mm-hmm. So that's basically the gist of January. Beginning of it, a little more crowded. End of it, not so crowded. Yeah. Avoid the holiday. But mm-hmm. temperature-wise, absolutely gorgeous time to yeah. go. Crowd-wise, not really terrible. And honestly, we've actually been there that week after New Year's. Mm-hmm. And I didn't find it that crowded. I, did, I don't recall it being If you bad. look at crowd calendars and you look at the Disney prices, they are still up and it still says it's going to be bad but i don't remember it being that bad and i think part of that is because the, all the schools that do go back you're not going to take your kid out again yeah the day they're supposed to be back you're not most people aren't pulling them out again 
So if you have kids and you're willing to pull them out, or if your kids are really mm-hmm. little or older and it's like easier to do, yeah, could be a good time to go. But again, later in January, or if you're Disney adults and you don't have kids, great time to go. <laughs> great time to go. Absolutely great. And then we're going to go into February. I actually have been looking at a trip for 2025 where it could either fall the last week of January or the first week of February. And I'm really leaning towards January because it is cheaper than February. Believe it or not, February is a more expensive month than January. Not by much. It really isn't bad. But, I mean, hey, every dollar counts. So if if there's no specific date drawing you in, why not go off of that? So February has really similar weather, high of 75, low of 54. So only a little bit warmer than January. And honestly, that might be more of your speed. This is also an average. You could still get those 90-degree days. You can get a 60-degree day. It's possible. But February does have Festival of the Arts. Mm -hmm. For the first few weeks. Yeah, for the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it does run pretty long, but usually it goes up until the Princess Half Marathon week. It does not normally go while the Princess Half Marathon is going because they don't need it to. They get in enough crowds on their own. Very crowded if they were both going on at the same time. Yeah. The Princess Half Marathon is historically the end of the month. Literally has gone up until like the 28th before Mm. and until like March 1st. So check the dates on that before you book your trip. Again, unless it's something you're interested in doing, make sure you're registered for Mm. it. If you are interested in doing one of these Run Disney events that we're going to talk about while we're talking, uh, keep in mind, like the marathon in January, you have to register it the April before. So it is it's a long time before. It's you gotta be really planning your trip. Yeah. We have two holidays though. So. Yeah, so we got two holidays during the month of February. We got President's Day and Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day people don't really have all four, but people might plan a trip around that. And President's Day, most people have all four. So again, same as uh, Martin Luther King Day and um that's the only one we talked about yeah, so far. About. So far. <laughs> I thought there was another one. Um, same as Martin Luther King Day. People might plan a weekend trip around it depending on the day that it falls on. Even if it's on a Wednesday, my thought would be, okay, it's on a Wednesday. Now I only have to take four days off of work instead of five. Yeah. When it comes to a full work week. Or, or even just Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Like I only need to take two and instead of three. And I, ex- yeah. So I think that any kind of holiday is going to bring people in. If the holiday mm-hmm. is on a weekend, it's definitely going to bring people in. But historically, a holiday will. And the other thing with holidays, people have off off of work. That's when you see a lot of the locals come in, too. Mm -hmm. They don't have work. Their kids don't have school. Cool. Let's go to Disney for the day. Let's use that annual pass that we never get to use on a Tuesday. Now let's go use it. Valentine's Day, weirdly enough, will usually be more crowded. I I guess people just purposely will plan around it to be there for valentine's day disney doesn't really do anything yeah, too it's not crazy like extra romantic around no. valentine's day it's just there's we talked two weeks ago about great date night ideas so yeah. if you're going on valentine's day we have a whole episode for you yeah i mean there's plenty of restaurants there's plenty of shows and stuff that you can go see like the fireworks are always pretty nice restaurants like we talked about um so makes sense a little bit but at the same time I don't know. I just feel like there's not really a reason to go on Valentine's Day. No, nope, but people do. Sometimes it yeah. just falls on that. Or yeah. if Valentine, sometimes Valentine's Day is close enough to President's Day. True. They might go hand in hand. I think President's Day, isn't it always the 17th? I have no. I don't get off for that day, so I have no idea. It's Washington's birthday. Mm. I think. Him. I think. <laughs> I have no idea. I was really confident in that, though, right? <laughs> I'm sure someone will message we'll me it. and be like, you dummy, it's Lincoln. No, I, think it, I really do think it's Washington's birthday, though. That makes the most sense. First president. Sure. If you're not from the U.S. and you're planning your trip, I really hope all of these holidays are helping you because now you know what to avoid. Yeah, now you know don't go on George Washington's birthday. (laughs) We think. (laughs) But that's really all you need to know for February. Really not a crowded month. Just avoid that holiday and then avoid the run weekend and you will have a nice, relaxed, cool weather, beautiful temperature with months to go. Yeah. Should we rate them? One out of ten. January. Ten being what? Ten being go at this time. It's the best time to go. It's great. I'm giving January a seven out of ten. I was going to give it a six. A six? Just because it's the beginning of the month. All right. I'm giving February a eight out of ten. I'm at a seven on that. Hmm, I think I'm just more generous than you. (laughs) All right. March. You ready? 
March, I think, is going to be our first low score on the rate on the rating yeah, scale. Why? Yeah, because of spring break. Spring break, <laughs> baby. Brings in the crowds. Brings in the prices. Yeah, that's brings true. up the prices. Let that's me word true. that right. Yeah. Increased crowds, increased prices. Disney is a hardcore supply and demand company. Mm -hmm. The crowds are going to come in. The only thing that might work to your advantage, if you are planning a trip for March, right, for 2025, Easter this year, is April 20th. Oh, okay. Last year, I think it was March 31st. Yeah, it was in March last year. In March. And some schools will work their spring break or what they consider their spring break around Easter. Oh, okay. Colleges won't, but like elementary and middle school, mm -hmm. high schools, they might have it worked around Easter. Okay. Or I know Catholic schools, I never had to go into school on Easter Monday. So we'd have off mm. Thursday to Monday. Gotcha. So. That's good. That could work in the advantage. Yeah. But again, like colleges are already set. Some high yeah. schools, it's already set. Like you get what you get. So. So it might not work in advantage. But spring break, more towards the end of the month. The beginning of March, you'll probably still be okay. Yeah, it'll probably be more like the end of February as far as feel feel wise. Oh, crowds yeah. I stuff. thought you were saying, <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. I'll no, pick as far up as like crowds February. and stuff goes, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Weather in March, I'm not going to give it a gorgeous weather like I did for January and February, but it is lovely. It gets a little warmer. It can get warmer, but it is still the average high is 79. The average low is 57. So that low is still pretty low. Yeah, the high the, is getting a little higher, though. These are the bring your sweatshirts for the night. Nighttime day. Yes. So the thing with the heat for this, so like I'm saying high of 79. Right now in August in Pennsylvania, the high of 79 still feels pretty warm because mm -hmm. it's so humid. Same thing happens in Orlando, Florida, where Disney is. March isn't really humid yet. So that high of 79 isn't too bad. No. It's really and then not. It, it might get a little nippy at the at the low of 57. At yes. Night. It's it's going to be sweatshirt weather at night. Yeah. So. So March also is the month occasionally where we see flower and garden start. Flower and Garden Festival is another festival they have at Epcot. It usually is already going by March. In 2024, it actually started on February 28th. Really? Yeah, but it is usually going for the entire month of March 2024. It was February 28th until May 27th. So in that aspect, that is a great draw for the month of March. If you yeah. are a flower and garden type of person, that could be a great time for you to go. Mm -hmm. But besides that, nothing too big really happens in March. Before we leave the March section, I do want to share for the listeners. January, February, March, there are the three big months. I mean, you'll see it a little bit in April and May as well, but those are three of the biggest ones where ESPN, Wide World of Sports, which is a sports complex on that is owned by Disney on Walt Disney World property, runs a lot of events for children. By children, I mean like 17 and under, 18 and under, even sometimes older, but mainly like Pop Warner football and cheerleading, mm -hmm. dance competitions, softball tournaments, baseball tournaments, anything you can think of like that are happening. It will bring crowds into the parks. Not anything too crazy. The main spot where you're going to see the crowds for this one is actually going to be at the resorts if yeah. you are staying at the value resorts. That tends to be where they stay. The All-Stars, You every single year people talk about <laughs> the football field at the All-Stars. Just cheerleading teams warming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, at all times, there are kids yeah. getting tossed around on that football field. Mm -hmm. So, if that's something that's going to bug you, look up the dates before you go if you go on the espn wide world of sports website right now you actually can see there's a girl soccer showcase in january a field hockey showcase in january a soccer tournament on president's day weekend the so 15th to the 17th flag football world championship the february 28th to march 2nd we also have spring training high school and college baseball that's going to be there from march 10th to april 20th so you're going to see all different age groups all over, but the tournaments, they do bring in crowds. So be prepared for that. You hear flag football is going to be in the Olympics? That's awesome. 2028. That's really cool. Yeah, we're going to dominate. You think? Probably. Why? Because you just send any of the NFL guys there. <laughs> That's true. We do have that. <laughs> no, but if they send rugby guys in. For flag football, though? Yeah. I think the rules are too different. No, I think rugby guys would do better. Because, Guess we'll see. In no, 2028. Because my thought is rugby players have more control over their body. Yeah. 
football players tend to just kind of throw themselves, while rugby players have a controlled tackle, which means they would probably have better control at grabbing a flag. Maybe. I don't know. Yes, we'll see. Depends how much time and effort they put into adjusting. <laughs> True. Let's throw Jordan Mailata out there and see what happens. Hey, welcome to Spill, Spill the D, the sports podcast. <laughs> even say the name of our own podcast okay okay so what do we got for march i'm gonna go probably like a five i was gonna give it a five too Mm. just for the potential of spring break because i feel like that's that's why a little part of me wants to say four but then i'm like i don't know if i I don't know if i would go that low because like there's there's gonna be more crowds but i don't know if i would go as low as a four yeah i'll go five because there's enough lull yeah. With, like, the beginning of March. Mm-hmm. You know where there's not really a lull? Where you would think there's a lull? What? April. <laughs> <laughs> like, something about April. Like, you would think that there would be that time where it kind of fades out, and it really doesn't. April's pretty popping at all times. Okay, April has got... the springtime surprise race weekend. Okay. And that one is literally a surprise. They change the weekend of it every year, but it's always in April. Historically, I think the one year it started like March 31st, but it's almost always like okay. the weekend of April when they do it. Uh, that one for 2025 is April 5th to the 7th, so beginning of April. <laughs> yeah, last year it was the last weekend <laughs> or whatever weekend. We were there like the 20 something yeah. for it. So April 5th to the 7th. Also, you have spring break. Goes, goes into April for some schools, especially when Easter is April 20th. Mm-hmm. Disney does a special Easter parade, so that draws people in. Some people just take advantage of their kids not having school, so that draws people in. So between all of these things, April is a pretty crowded month at Walt Disney World. Prices kind of reflected. It does tend to show as being a little bit more crowded and a little bit higher priced. Yeah. Again, not the highest it'll be, but still a little bit higher. But we do still have Flower and Garden Festival, so that's always a perk. Yeah. Weather. Not too bad. It's getting warmer, but um, what do you expect from Florida? You know. Yeah, we got an av- <laughs> average. Wasn't gonna be nice forever. <laughs> average high of eighty four, average low of sixty three. But again, this is the average. Literally April twenty twenty four when we were there, there was a heat wave and yeah. it was like ninety eight <laughs> or <crazy>. something ridiculous <laughs> that people were just. Sitting in chairs, sweating yeah. and dying. Like, the week before, it was in, like, the 70s. It, yeah. So, you don't really, you can't really count on anything when it comes to the weather in Disney, but that one is definitely, April's a tough one. Plus April showers. I was going to say, April's kind of the start of the rain. It's not <laughs> the worst month for rain yeah. in Florida, but it is, it's getting there. Mm-hmm. You got you start to see those rain, that rain. If you've never we're, been. We're actually in the worst month i think right now no it's june <laughs> is it really it's june and july not hurricane heavy. season Mm-mm, june and july are the heaviest rainfall oh. for orlando weird right yeah i think it'd be hurricane yeah. season if you haven't been to orlando florida there's this really cool thing that it does where just about once a day you <laughs> get just rain and for about an hour especially in the, mainly in the summer the yeah. winter months so it's not as bad but in the summer yeah just one hour nice rain sometimes you get a little thunder a little lightning and then it's done <laughs> it's beautiful this really cool thing that Disney does, and this is really cool when it comes to the pools, they don't do like how it does while you're home, where if there's thunder and lightning, they say, get out. They have a radar that actually looks to see how far away the storm is. Yeah. So just because you hear thunder doesn't mean that Disney is going to close down the pool. You can take your kid out of the pool if you want. That's up to you. Mm -hmm. But Disney will say that you're still good for a certain amount of time, and then they'll tell people to get out. And it's I can tell you 100% that this is how it's done, or at least how it was done a few years ago when I worked as a lifeguard at Walt Disney World, and we would hear the thunder and think we were getting a break and would have to stay on the pool deck. (laughs) So Because it's too far away. Because it's too far away. They'll close, and the way that they do it, first they closed, let me see if I can get this order right. I believe it's the lake, then the slides, then the pool. Or maybe it's slides, lake, pool. Oh, no, you'll see the lake with the boats. For the people from the hotels to the parks or the hotels to Disney Springs, that'll close before the pools will usually. Gotcha. All right. What do you give in April? I think I'm going for another five. Five out of ten. I'm giving April yeah. a four. Been in March, been in April, and I just feel like April had more crowds. It was hotter. It just was. Yeah. It wasn't 
bad. It still wasn't like super hot, but the crowds were definitely there more than they were in March, and I just felt like they didn't need to be. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? I think I, I think I got to keep it even with March though, just because there's the potential that spring break falls in either month, and I think if you don't have spring break on the other month, then it's probably not as bad. Okay, I see what you're saying. You know what I mean. I think spring break is steady in March. And you occasionally get it beginning of April, and that's more of an Easter break, where March okay. is a steady spring break. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I never had spring break growing up. No? No. I mean, we that's had, good. like I said, the the Easter weekend. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was like a long weekend. Although it's really funny. I don't actually remember having off Easter Monday, but my mom always, like my mom says that we did, but like 13 years of Catholic school, and I don't remember it, so. Yeah. Okay. May we continue? Huh. <laughs> <May>. <laughs> We're in May. We're in May. What do you think? It's okay. This is when it starts to get hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, but May is actually a pretty decent time to go. You're gonna yeah, see, as far as crowds and stuff. But... You're going to see pretty low crowds until Memorial Day because yeah. kids are finishing up school and most parents don't pull their kids out when... There's only a month left. They're finishing with their standardized testing. Mm -hmm. If they have high school students, you're not pulling your high school get out in the last week. They got so many tests to take. So that's a really good time as far as that goes. But once we get closer to Memorial Day, you're done. Yeah, it's going to get crowded again. Those crowds are coming in. 2025 Memorial Day is on May 26th, too. So that's pretty early. So that weekend would start, what, the 23rd? It was like 25th. 23rd would be that Friday, because Memorial Day is always on Monday. Sure, yeah. So that means May is good until about the 23rd. So like the last week. For 2025. <laughs> That's about what we would recommend if you're going. Because the people come in, they use that long weekend for a long weekend trip. They'll use that week as a buffer to get their yeah. their vacation set up. So May is not bad crowd levels until the end of the month. We still have the Flower and Garden Festival. Uh, at least this year we did. It went until the end of uh, May. So... I assume it'll probably continue to do that. Yeah, most likely. Um, There's been years where it's literally gone into June. So. Oh, really? Yeah, they really changed the way that they did the festivals this year. For a little bit, it was like there wasn't any time without a festival. And now they kind of brought it back in a little bit and reined it in. So June and July don't have festivals this year. But there was one point when it was like Flower and Garden went until June. And then there was only like two weeks. weeks, And then in July, food and wine started. We did the math. It was like six weeks out of the year or something like that. Yeah, I think so. (laughs) It was like whenever there was a run. Yeah, pretty much. (laughs) So, yeah, a little bit different this time. But not much going on in May. Not too much to look forward to as far as, like, specialty events. But sometimes that's better if you just want a nice, simple Walt Disney World vacation without all the extra bells and whistles that are just going to cost you more. Yeah. Just don't go to um, Galaxy's Edge and Hello Studios. Oh, yeah. There is May the 4th. <laughs> Star Wars Day. If you are not a Star Wars fan, just don't just even bother. <laughs> don't even bother going to Hollywood Studios that day. Yeah. Because that's where everyone who's a Star Wars fan is going on May yeah. 4th. Yeah. Literally, some annual passes are blocked out on May 4th. I think yours is. Is it really? Yeah, I don't think you get into Hollywood Studios on May 4th. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, so be aware of May 4th. But if you go. And more importantly, Cinco de Mayo the next day. And then at Epcot. (laughs) May the 4th be with you. But yeah, I mean, overall, May's pretty chill. I'm going to have to give it an 8. You know what? I'm going to give it an 8, too. Okay. If anything would have brought it down, it would have been the temperature. I don't know if we said it, but it's a high of 88 on average and a low mm. of 69. But, like, that's still not terrible. We are starting yeah. to get a little bit more humid, mm-hmm. but, like, still not awful. Yeah, a little on the warmer side, but not terrible. All right, June. Good month. Why, your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I can honestly tell you. I don't think I've ever gone to Disney in June. When I was little, I did. I was going to say, I, I probably did when I was really young. I did when I was little, but I have never booked myself a trip to Disney in June. Fair. So I won't really be able to talk much on personal experience here. But, did a lot of research for you guys. School's out. True. This is just a fact of life, especially down south. School is already done. If you live up north, um, 
most kids up north don't end school until like the middle of June. Yeah, we were in the middle of June. Yeah, we were middle to, to end. If we have snow days, they push it back even more. Mm-hmm. Their kids. I do – the camp that I do is always the last week of June, so it usually starts, like, the 20-something. Yeah. And there has literally been years where kids miss the last day of school to go to camp because there were we, snow days. We had, we had that when I was in school. Like, there to was, the end of June? Yeah. It was, yeah. The, it was in the 20s that we were there because there were so many snow days that year. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. So this is something that you could keep in mind. If you go at the beginning of June, the crowds are going to be coming in because mm-hmm. everyone from down south has already done school. Yeah. But you don't have the northerners yet. Yeah. So, I, I mean – it's not everyone yet, but, like, the crowds are definitely picking up. Yeah, for sure. Some years, like we said, we'll have Flower and Garden Festival. Not all years, <laughs> but some. Last year didn't have it. Mm-hmm. It was already done at this point. Um, but I mentioned it earlier. This is the heaviest rainfall month for Disney. Which is just so, so shocking to me. Mm-hmm. So it's summer rain. Well, what's considered hurricane season? It's like August to November, right? Yeah. Well, it rains then too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you worry. I just rains. no. I just assumed that that would be the worst. Nope. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, notable holidays for this month. We have Juneteenth. Uh, a lot of people have off for that, so people might plan their trip around that now. Yeah. Not everyone has off for that one, so it yeah, it's not going to be too bad because of Juneteenth, but like it definitely can have more. Yeah, there's a potential for more crowds, that especially day. like if like how Rick said earlier, if Juneteenth falls on a weekend that year, like on a Monday yeah. or a Friday. Yeah. Better odds for a Probably longer weekend. Probably going to be a long weekend. People there, yeah. Pretty mid on prices. Yeah, I mean the prices are going to definitely get higher in July and August, but not August. Not August? No, not August. Really? Just wait till we get to August. August is my... Yeah, I feel like you're going to just like throw me for a huge whirl in August. Oh, no, yeah, August is not, not what you think it is. Don't you rain, worry. It's going to be expensive. Nope. <laughs> All right, well, we didn't say it. June has a high of, average high of 91 and an average low of 73, so we're definitely getting warmer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you don't like the heat... Now's not the time to be there. Stay out of the <laughs> Disney kitchen in June. Yeah, come back up in North. What do you, you think? Snowbirds. What do we rate in June? I'll give it an eight. I think we're still we're still in a good a good time. There's the biggest issue is going to be rain, but again, Florida rain is just an hour and then it's done. I gave June a seven. Why is that? It gets more crowded. It's definitely a lot more crowded than other months that you could be going. It's That's not right. It's not the best one if you're trying to avoid the crowds. Price-wise, like I said, it's kind of in the middle. Uh-huh. It's nothing nothing crazy, but it's definitely not the cheapest. Yeah. So, like, if you're trying to be like, okay, I want this to be as affordable as possible, like, June is not the time to go. That's fair. And I want to clarify for everyone. When we're talking prices, prices of things in the park, that's not fluctuating. Yeah. Like, ticket a Mickey prices. bar is going to be a Mickey bar no matter when you go. But the ticket prices and the hotel prices, that's going to fluctuate. And that's going to fluctuate pretty drastically depending on when you go so this is something like really important to keep in mind literally to the point where there are some days like a one day ticket is 119 dollars, and other days it is 189 dollars. so like that for a family of i'll say four like that's a huge Big difference difference yeah. yes so very important to keep in mind july i'm good I went to Disney hard, in July. Hard pass. <laughs> I went to Disney in July one time hard that I can remember. On I think we did when I was little, but one time that I can remember, and I said, "I just don't think I have to do this again." I just, you like know. I did it, and I just was walking around, and it was during COVID when all the lines were social distanced, so they all went out in like out of the buildings yeah. that are nice and air conditioned and shaded. So it was a lot of just standing in the sun. Mm-hmm. in pretty long lines yeah. that I was just like, I have no desire to come back in July. Yeah. I just, I don't, I get it. If your kids are in school. Yeah, you have it to. It makes sense, especially it. if you're down south where your kids go back on like, I saw someone, their kids already going back. It's the beginning of August and kids are going back. Like, yeah. I get it. But like, I, mm, at this point. Yeah, so, so the issue, there, there's two big issues with July. This is the one month that nobody has school. <laughs> so everybody's off in July. And this is the month where the heat, if it didn't already pick up in June, is going to pick up. The average high is only 92. 
but it's the average. That's the average, and there is plenty of days where it gets over a hundred. <laughs> and this is the high without the real feel. So yeah. if you've never experienced humidity, you are in for a shock. Yeah, real feel is a thing. Yes. <laughs> so the real feel, which I don't know. You can have a real feel without humidity, right? Or it's humidity that does it. It, it. The humidity is what makes the real feel worse. Okay. So but it can be, you can have a real feel that's warmer than the normal temperature with that with not a lot of humidity. So, for instance, um, it was 92 degrees here mm-hmm. a few days ago. And I asked our Google Home what the temperature was. And she said it's 92. But with the humidity, it feels like... 102. Yeah. So, like, that's a 10 degree difference. So, it's telling us right now that the average weather in July is a high of 92. It could feel like 102 plus from the humidity. 102% hot. It is 102. <laughs> yeah, um, this is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> this is in Fahrenheit for anybody listening who uses uh, Celsius. It's 102% hot we in Orlando. Do, we do things by percentages. It's 92% hot. <laughs> With a real feel of 102%. <laughs> so that's really important to keep in mind. The crowds also, like we said, they pick up. So hotter, more crowds. But prices are still going to be pretty mid compared to other times of the year. Because there's so many people going. Because there's so many people there. But, like, it's not – they're a little higher on the mid side, but still pretty mid. Mm-hmm. What are you giving it? Oh, um, and then 2024, there isn't a festival in July. But in past years, there has been Food and Wine Festival. Due to the fact, though, that Food and Wine Festival isn't starting until the end of August for 2024, I'm going to make an educated guess here that it's not going to be in July again. Yeah, that sounds about right if it's that late in August. Yeah. If you're looking to go in 2025, I would not plan your trip around Food and Wine being in July. Yeah, that's fair. Like, I wouldn't even be like, oh, I'm going to do this in the hopes that it is. I, the odds Last just... week of July, hoping that they push it there. No, like, if Don't we're even bother. going off of 2024, that's a big jump, so I... Yeah, I might not even do the beginning of August. No, I don't know if I would take that risk if that's going to make or break your vacation. Mm-hmm. If it's not going to, then go ahead, but if it's going to make or break it, I, I wouldn't take that risk. Yeah. What are you giving July? Like a three. Oh, my goodness, the heat really got you, huh? <laughs> also, the crowds. Because there's just so many people there. I'm giving it a six. A six? Okay. A six. Because the crowds aren't as bad as like... You know, the crowd was pretty... I My experience was not... I, I, I'm I looking at this as... I if someone five. were to ask me what month they shouldn't go to Disney, July is probably my first answer. It's not my... I think I would say March or April 1st, unless I would say, mm, I I don't know if I could just say one. I'd be like, July is hot and crowded. Like That would be my instinctual first answer, I think, would be July. Spring break is cool, but more crowded. Christmas is cool, but the most crowded. Well, yeah, but excluding Christmas. Never exclude Christmas. My gosh. All right, I'll guess. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Yeah, learn learn me a little something about Disney in August. This is so funny. Okay, so August, beginning of August, the South is already going back to school. That first week, it's still going to be a little bit more crowded, like the first week, week and a half. But once that week and a half is over, by about August 10th, the crowds die down. And you know what else dies down? The prices. August and September are going to be your cheapest time to go to Walt Disney World. If you look at the Walt Disney World ticket price calendar, the cheapest tickets you can find are going to be in August and September. Good to know. has low crowds, low prices on the hotel and on the tickets. Food and wine tends to start towards the end of August. That's a good one. Sometimes even in July, but we're going to say at least by the end of August, food and wine tends to start. And... Halloween decor and Halloween parties are also starting in August. The only thing I think of as a big downside for August, the heat. It is 91 degrees at a high and 75 at a low. So you still have that summer heat, but you're getting much lower crowds. You're still getting summer deals when they're offering deals. You got a little bit of Halloween if you want it, and Halloween parties are already starting. And this is the cheapest that you're going to get the Halloween parties. Probably because it's two months out. (laughs) Yeah, you're really far out. But Halloween parties as cheap as $119 per person um, just for a little 
just so you can get an idea. If you go on the 29th of October, it's 199 a person. So They do have one on Halloween as well, but that one's already sold out. So I don't know how much that one was. Probably 199 They probably both were. Maybe. I think that's the highest it would go. Could be wrong, but ask your 407 there was agent. No, there was no price on the, on the yeah. thing, so. Just ask your 407 agent. They'll tell you. <laughs> so August, a phenomenal time to go if you're willing to deal with the heat. It's going to be hot, but yeah. there are so many advantages to going in August that this can be so worth it for you. In addition to the fact that the Halloween parties have already started. Something we haven't touched on that is really important to note for every month that we've talked about so far. Disney does after hours events. This is when they close the park down at around 6 o'clock and you can buy a special ticket to get into the park at night for a few hours. It'll be about, let's say, $150, but you get five hours in the park with unlimited popcorn and ice cream and sodas and pretzels. And you get to run around and ride all the rides with no weights. They'll usually have special characters out, some entertainment, kind of like they do for the parties, but no theming. Just here's the park. Yeah. This will go... January through August, usually. By September, that's when they start the Halloween and Christmas parties. Are in, they're in full effect, and they don't really tend to do the after-hours events. Which makes sense. Yeah. This is just, like, kind of historically what it looks like. So, August is that sweet spot where there are still after-hours events and the parties start. You could plan a whole trip without going to the parks in the day at all. <laughs> you do a, an after-hours event, a Halloween party, you got two days in the park, you're yeah, set. there you go. So... All of these are really great things for August. Like I said, the only downside, in my personal opinion, is the heat. The crowds are low. The prices are low. Yeah. Everything is great. Food and wine started. It's beautiful. What are you giving it? I think I got to give it... I think I'm going to give it a nine. If you can deal with the heat, it's a great time to go. I also gave it a nine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't have an issue with the heat, so personally, I would say go, but... If you have a little bit of an issue with the heat, then maybe reconsider, but otherwise, do it. Yeah. Sounds like a great time. There's also no holidays that people have off for. True. So you don't have to plan around any kind of weekend like that, and it's too hot for any kind of run Disney event. <laughs> and everybody's going back to school, so. All right. September. Do you remember? Get it. 21st now. Yeah. September. Love it. Still Halloween time. Still low crowds. Because Halloween's next month in September. Yeah. Not right now. You're so articulate. <laughs> <laughs> we still have low crowds. Yeah. We still have low prices. We Things actually are have getting cooler. The lowest prices. Things are cooling down. We're now only seeing a high of 89. What? Nice. And a low of 74. So honestly, not much cooler than August. So still hot. Mm -hmm. But not crowded. Low prices. We do have Labor Day. Another weekend where people will most likely take a long weekend. The thing to note, though, with this, we've been there on Labor Day and after Labor Day. It's not as bad as you would think. It is so crowded. Yeah. But up north, a lot of kids go back the Tuesday after Labor Day. That's a really common thing. And teachers will already be back before Labor Day. Yeah. So all those teachers who are taking their vacations in June, July, and August, because that's when they have off from work, back at work. All the kids, they're going back to school. So you'll see significantly less because a lot of parents don't want to do a long weekend with their kids right the day before the first day of school. Yeah. Some do. Do your thing. If your kid can do it, do it. But it will. you'll get some crowds. You'll get more local crowds, but you mm -hmm. will get crowds. Now, the week after Labor Day, because most kids just went back to school... This is when the low crowds are really low. It's the time to go. Don't get me wrong. There's not really a time of year anymore where Disney isn't kind of crowded, where you're not going to be surrounded by people. But as far as the lowest it's going to be, mm -hmm. this is still going to be the lowest. September is really great for that. You have Food and Wine Festival at Epcot, which is amazing. And that yep. is going to be every year it has always gone on in September. Again, Halloween. The parties are still cheaper up until September 15th this year. The parties are $129. Yes. After that, they go up to about $149 plus. But still cheaper than they're going to be in October. Mm -hmm. The crowds are still lower. This is like, I can't emphasize enough. If you haven't planned a trip, if you're sitting on a trip right now for August or September of this year, this is when you need to call your 407 agent. Yeah. Because this is your sign right now to go. 
because this is like my favorite time of year to go. I will deal with the heat for how low the crowds are yeah. and the experience that you're going to have. It truly is amazing. And I'm, I really emphasize this. This is a great, ta- great time to be there. Yeah, I like September. It's a good mm-hmm. time. I agree. And with us not having kids, it's so great. With all the kids being back in school, we're like, cool, let's go. Yep, whatever we want. Yeah, let's pack up and go right now. If you have kids who aren't in school yet, this is a really good time to go. Remember, if they're under three, they're free. So if they're not in school yet, do it. Yeah. What are you giving it? I was just going to ask you. Oh, I'm sorry. There's also um, Rosh Hashanah. Uh, This is a holiday that some kids will have off school for. Yeah. Depends on the school and where you're at. And it's not always in September. Sometimes it's in October. Yeah. I think this year you said it's in October, right? Uh, Or last year it's October. This This year it's October. Yeah, this year it's in October. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind when you're planning your trip if that long weekend is going to be when you're there or not. But again, even... Even that doesn't tend to bring in the craziest crowds. Yeah. That's also more schools that have off, not workplaces that have off. Mm. Because the only people I ever know who took advantage of Rosh Hashanah as a holiday for to, to go yeah. to Disney was my brother and sister-in-law because <laughs> yeah, she's a teacher yeah. and had off, and we're not Jewish. So. <laughs> Jewish holiday? Yeah, Jewish holiday. Yeah. So it, it worked for in their favor. But so, that, they're the only people I know who ever yeah. did it. I think, based on the spirit of the rating system, I think I also have to give this a 9. I know. Part of me wants to give it a 10 because of how much I'm talking it up, but it's still the heat. Yeah. There is still the heat there. But I I would say, like you said, August and September are the two times that I think are going to get the biggest the biggest number on the scale. Yeah, I think so too. I think that if like I said, this is your sign to book it if you've been sitting on it or this is your sign to book for next year. If you're yeah. already, if you're leaning towards it, I really Yeah. And if you can do an August trip before your before your kids go back to school, prime like oh, for yeah. next year or something amazing. that's what we always used to do for vacations that's what like, we it would be like two weeks before mm-hmm. school went back. we did like the week we went, right before we went back mm-hmm. or two weeks maybe yeah and my mom would literally always say when i went to disney and she would be like oh yeah we're going in august because all the kids from the south are already back <laughs> just just us northerners up there oh, yeah. all right october it's halloween it's halloween so the party prices are going up again um so like gina said september 149 plus after the second week of September and they gradually increase for the rest of the time until Halloween. There's anywhere, anything, any number between 149 and 199 that you can think of is, is probably one of the prices. Um, 199, like we said, is two days before Halloween, assuming the day of Halloween was also that, but it's already sold out as you can probably imagine, because who wouldn't want to be at the party on Halloween? Um, like Gina said, Rosh Hashanah is this year in October. This past year it was in September, so it does change uh, depending on the year. It's also Indigenous People slash Columbus Day. Um, the so second Monday. Yeah, I think it's the yeah, second, second Monday. Monday. So that's that um, one can really bring in crowds. Another one that a lot of people are going to take a, a long weekend for because kids and adults alike have off on that mm-hmm. day. So. So many people want to see Disney at Halloween. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing. They want to see it. It's amazing. You have every right to want to see it. You have it the completely makes sense. But Disney knows that. So the prices are gonna go up Mm -hmm. for their tickets, for your hotel, everything. They're still again, not the highest that they're going to be at any point, but they definitely do go up. So that is something very important to keep in mind for when you're planning your trip. This is when people are more comfortable pulling their pulling their kids out of school because they've already been in school for a month or two. Yep. So they're like, okay, now I'm pulling them and we're going on vacation. So keep that in mind that the prices can go up. The crowds can kind of go up because people want to be at Disney at Halloween time. Mm-hmm. They want to really experience spooky vibes in that 85 degree heat. So yeah, so this is going to be a high of 85 and a low of 68 on average, but not, this is when we're kind of losing the humidity. September still has a little bit of humidity, not as much as August, but still a little bit. Yeah. By October, we're kind of losing the humidity. If you're not used to humidity, you're not going to think it's losing it at all. Yeah. But <laughs> if you're used to it, you're going to be like, huh, it's not that bad here. Yeah, it's pretty good right now. But it is still there. Don't get me wrong. There is still humidity there. All right, I'm giving October a six and a half out of ten. It has good vibes. The crowds aren't terrible, but they're definitely there. Yeah, I'm going to go seven and a half, I think. 
and it's not super hot. Yeah. But the it definitely the prices are a little bit up. I want to give it higher because I love Halloween, but there's the holidays and the prices are like you said starting to go up. It's mm-hmm. still a little bit warm, so can't quite give it that much. All right, now we're getting into two of my favorite months of the year. <laughs> Also the most expensive. They are also the the most expensive. So there's going to be a butt ton of pros and cons right now for November and December. Mm -hmm. So stay with us because November and December are a really weird one where we could probably do a whole episode just about them because literally the week that you go can make or break your trip. Yeah, it's very, very intricate planning around these two times. So November, we have Veterans Day, which this year falls on November 11th. Also in November, there, so that's one weekend, okay, Mm -hmm. that you need to worry about. Also in November, this is usually when there's the food and wine half marathon. That'll usually be a little bit more towards the end. That's going to be in crowds. That's going to bring in crowds. That's another weekend you have to worry about. Also in November, we have Thanksgiving. This year, it's the very last weekend in November leading into December. Mm -hmm. So that weekend would be like, November, I think it's on the 29th or the 30th this this year, and that's going to go up until December 2nd. Mm -hmm. So that's going to bring in crowds. So that leaves one or two good weekends in November where there's nothing going on, where if your vacation was that week, you might be pretty decent, where the crowds are actually going to be pretty low, believe it or not. Relatively speaking. Relatively speaking, and it's going to be completely decked out in Christmas decor. I was going to say, that's the issue is even though – there's not a holiday or anything going on. There's still this is Christmas time at Disney, so people are gonna start to migrate towards Disney to be, see the Christmas stuff. Just like you said with Halloween, like everybody wants to see it. Halloween and Christmas are the two times that everybody wants to see Disney for good reason. And November is when people are gonna start to come because December is usually pretty hectic for a lot of people. Mm-hmm. So I feel like that even the weeks that don't have a holiday people are still going to be there in november yeah november is when the christmas parties start and when we start to see jollywood nights which is the Mm. new christmas parties at hollywood studios that started last year but same way as the halloween parties when you do november instead of december they're going to be cheaper yeah for the christmas parties and jollywood nights sometimes only by like 10 to 20 dollars but again that adds up when you're buying for a whole family Yep. so if you want christmas this is definitely a cheaper time to do it but you gotta watch what weekend you're there because yeah. of Veterans Day, because of the Wine and Dine Half Marathon, because of Thanksgiving. All of these holidays could ruin an entire week span because people are booking their trips around it because yeah. of those extra days of paid time off or just time off in general or mm-hmm. time off for their kids. So November, definitely, it's a it's a minefield you got to be able to <laughs> navigate. But if you can get the weekend right and plan when there isn't anything else going on at Walt Disney World – you could get this perfect. Yeah. The weather high, 78. We're starting to drop. We're starting to drop. We're losing that humidity. It's so nice there. This is when Rick was saying we didn't know it was going to be as cold as it was because yeah. all of a sudden it was freezing. It was lower than 59, I'll tell you that. It was because this is saying our lowest 59 on average. It was lower than that. And we They sold out of sweatshirts. They sold out of blankets. Mm-hmm. It was chaos. We finally found some after yeah. we park hopped. Yeah. Because the part, we were in Hollywood Studios and they had nothing. And I had to buy one that was a size too small just so I had <laughs> Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> it's nice and cool. It's nice and Christmas. There's parties. It's a good time. Mm-hmm. So what do you give in November? Vibes are up there. As far as expensiveness, though, that's the problem. It is a little I pricier. Think go, I think I'll go seven. Especially that Thanksgiving weekend. Get- yeah, I think I'll give it a seven because it is... It is a fun time to be there, but it's not a cheap time to be there. I agree. <laughs> Completely agree with that statement. So. Yeah. All right. I also gave a 7 10. I'm sorry. I don't know if I said that. That's okay. December. Part of me wants to break December into two parts right now. Before and after Christmas? No. Well, <laughs> sort of. So, up until, hear me out, up until, like, December... I'm going to say, like, the 20th. So before and after Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> the Well, it's they're still before. Up until, like, December 20th. The crowds still aren't bad because kids just went back to school after Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. And it's not quite their winter break yet. They can have more time off again in oh, two weeks. I'm sorry. I didn't say in November. There's also something called Jersey Week. 
So all the schools in Jersey, they get off for teacher conferences. Oh. I think it's for teacher, or it's in the teacher's contract. Something about the schools in Jersey for one week at in November every year, they all have off. Hmm. It's like in the contracts this has to happen, and they all go on vacation. <laughs> so there's literally Jersey week. At Disney. So Jersey week, another little minefield for you to battle, is going to be the first week of November. Not leaving much room for November. It's really not. But, like, (laughs) this isn't bringing in, like, a crazy amount of crowds, but, like, you're going to see a little uptick. It's noticeable, but it's not unbearable. (sighs) Yeah. Like, you're going to see a little uptick because all of Jersey has off from school. Yeah. And they all go to Disney. That's funny. So keep that in mind. Jersey week is a thing. It is the first week of November. Hmm. And growing up right across the bridge from Jersey, so jealous. So jealous. We didn't get that. Okay, now December. So, like I said, up until, like, the 20th, this is going to be that, like, sweet spot. Maybe even, like, 16th. Maybe we'll go a little lower if you can. Half and half. Yeah. Where, like, the crowds haven't come in yet for Christmas. Everyone's already back to school after Thanksgiving. Mm Mm-hmm. The prices have not skyrocketed yet. Yeah. They, they're, they've they gone up. They have definitely gone up, but they're not skyrocketed yet. And everything is still Christmas. It feels like Christmas. It's decorated for Christmas. Mm-hmm. The average high is 75. The average low is 55. The temperature is beautiful. And it's just a... And it's just a perfect, perfect little window of opportunity to go to Disney World. Kids are back at school. Mm. It's great. It is still going to have crowds, but it's not going to be like it's going to be in a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. And again, this is something that you're going to have to kind of look at the holidays for the year because this year Thanksgiving is the 29th of November or whatever it is. It's the very end of November for the year because this year Thanksgiving is the 29th of November or whatever it is it's the very end of november mm-hmm. but there's other other years where it's the middle of november it's not always the, the it's always last the last thursday. thursday but that could make it that could be like a 23rd yeah five or six day difference um and then so that that would mean that everything else is going to get pushed and people might start showing up a little earlier for december because their kids have been back to school longer all that stuff so just things to keep in mind when you're thinking about the time to go because things change every year look at these holidays all right so let's talk like i said like 16th the 20th on until december 31st this is my no man's land zone this is like i this is your personal blackout this is my personal (laughs) blackout i don't want to be at disney at that time i love disney world there is no place i'd rather be at any point in my life except for from december 21st to (laughs) december 31st i don't want to be there i just don't everything is more expensive Mm -hmm. it's more crowded the prices are insane this might be your cup of tea you might want to go away on the holiday you might want to just be in disney you don't care about the crowds you don't care about the prices you'll do whatever you just want to be there cool perfect then this is it for you because it is one of the most magical places to experience Christmas. I've Mm -hmm. done it. It is. It's absolutely magical. They do such an amazing job at everything they do when it comes to the holidays. Even I went to church at the Contemporary on (laughs) Christmas Eve. And even that was a beautifully done mass. And they had multiple different religious religious options and like with the time guide set up so there was like multiple different christian masses catholic masses like you could pick Mm -hmm. what you chose to go to for christmas eve like that's that's amazing so they they do holidays beautifully i just i don't the crowds are too much for me if you just if you don't believe me please just look up videos of disney on christmas day on new year's eve with people lined up for the fireworks it's like, I love people, and that's my worst nightmare. Yeah, I know it's expensive, but I, w- I think I would like to do a resort trip around Christmas at some point, where you just hang out at the resort, you have, like, a view of the fireworks to some degree, and I know it's obviously expensive, but, like, I think it would be nice if you stayed at the Polynesian, for example, around Christmas time. Mm-hmm. 
and you just did a resort trip. I would do it if we had like DVC points saved up. Mm-hmm. If we had enough and we're like, oh, we haven't used them. Let's go at Christmas time. That's something I would consider. But I even just paying out of pocket for what yeah. they charge at Christmas time, even the points are more. It yeah. does cost more DVC points. Yeah. But like what they charge at Christmas time, I just can't justify it when if I wait two weeks and go in that second week of January or go two weeks earlier, I know it's going to be significantly cheaper. cheaper and I'm going to get such a similar experience. Like I just, I can't. Yeah in my brain cannot justify it because it's just expensive and crowded. I could justify a resort stay like you're saying. Yeah. But even that we'd have to park there. (laughs) No, we'd have to be saved up for the right thing. We probably would have, I would do it if we had annual passes, but they'd be blocked out anyway. Yeah. It's the vacation club ones. So it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, December, I want to give like the first half of December an eight out of 10 and the second half a two out of 10. Yeah. I'm kind of in the same boat. The two, the two that it's getting is only for the vibes. One one point for vibes, one point for the temperature because it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's a high of 75, a low of 55. Everything else is not there. <laughs> Everything else is just not it. But like the beginning of December, yeah. there, it's crowded. Don't get me wrong. It's still more crowded than, say, like mm-hmm. September. But it's not the crowds that you experience in the last week of December. Yeah. And it's not as crazily priced. It's still expensive, but it's not as crazy. You can still go to a Christmas party or a Jollywood Nights, and it's a little bit less. Like, everything is just that, but a little bit less. And I can get behind yeah. that. Yeah. I think I might go seven and two. What did I say? I said eight and two. Yeah. Just because of the prices. Because it is an expensive month. Yeah, I I get it if that's what works with your work schedule, if that's what work with your works with your kids schedule, with school, with sports, with mm-hmm. everything. Trust me, I understand it. I just would personally try and figure out what else could work with your schedule. Yeah. Or if there was even some of these other holidays that we mentioned m- might work with your schedule still and be a better experience. Yeah. As far as crowds and prices go. Because, like, even there's always people who are like, well, I'll pay the money. It's like, okay, but there's still the crowds. Well, I'll deal yeah. with the crowds. Okay, but there's still the price. So, like, yeah. there's still... There's always something. There's always going to be something. So, especially when it comes to the end of December. Yeah. So, that's all the months. All the months of the year. If you didn't know them, now you do. <laughs> this is the Disney month of the year. Disney math. Got anything else to add? No, I don't think so. I think we went comprehensive enough. I think so, too. If you like what you heard and you are interested in planning a trip, seriously reach out over to 407 and Beyond Vacation Code. They will get this trip planned for you. Tell them what you learned from Spill the D and what, what your thoughts are and why you want to go every month. And they'll say, well, those Spill the D, too. They are so smart. That's a great idea. Let's get your trip booked. Also, if you forget after listening and you go to talk to your 407 agent, they'll know the same thing that we know as far as when it's crowded and when it's not crowded. So you can ask them that as well yeah they'll um, help you out. <laughs> so don't worry if you forget anything that we said you didn't maybe. even need this whole hour of your life wasted by us you could have just called them <laughs> but you did it and we're glad that you so were here thanks. for it <laughs> if you enjoyed the last hour of your life make sure you give us some stars on apple Podcasts and spotify we appreciate the reviews when they're coming in so thank you if you're not following us on social media we are at spillity podcast on instagram spillity pod on tiktok and that's really it yeah so until next time we will see you at the castle